Hey guys! In this video I want to tell you something about all the breastplates that I made with Warbla during my cosplay journey. So over the time I actually made a total of 8 Warbla breastplates. And with each one of them I learned new things and new techniques and new ways to make details and I also tried different kinds of Warbla when they became available because when I started with Warbla there was only the brown Warbla, so the regular Warbla's finest art but as I kept going there kept being new Warbla types so of course I wanted to try them all <laughs> because I like Warbla so much um, yeah. Let me take you on a journey through Warbla breastplates. Let's get into the video. So my first ever breastplate that I made with Warbla is this one. And it's for my Princess Cadence costume, based on My Little Pony. So if you know My Little Pony, um, Princess Cadence got married and there was an episode with uh, the wedding and it was really... Um, dangerous with uh, evil crystallis and everything and it was yeah it was really dangerous for Princess Kaden so she could have used some armor so that's why I designed my costume around uh, the theme of the wedding dress and uh, an armor to keep her safe for all those um, events. <laughs> I made this one actually um, end 2014 beginning 2015 and I also won a really important, at least for me, contest with it, and that was the Dortex Design Award. And winning that contest made it possible for me to um, get my current Bernina sewing machine. That actually, it's this one, my baby. <laughs> so uh, winning that uh, contest made it possible for me to actually purchase that sewing machine that I absolutely love. So much. <laughs> That's really really special also about it of course and it's just my first ever Warbla breastplate and as you can see from the shape it's very much inspired by the tutorials from Can We Cosplay. Um, you probably know her but I can still uh, link her in the description so you can find her because she's really cool and she actually taught me the basics um, for working with Warbla with her videos and with her books um, that really got me started and hooked to the material. Okay, now about the actual breastplate. So this breastplate uh, goes all around the body, as you can see. On the back, it closes with um, some strings. And the straps are elastic in skin color because I wanted it to look like there were no straps, so I made it in skin color. And it all attaches with Velcro. And some D-rings, yeah, maybe it's really difficult to see, some D-rings where the straps are attached. But because the breastplate goes all around the body, it's really large and just big. So it's a little bit difficult to travel with it. If you want to pack it in a suitcase, uh, it takes up a lot of space, which is logical. But of course it looks really cool. And for this one I used the brown warbler, so warbler's finest art. And that is a little bit um, rough, as you can hear. And for the priming, I used gesso this time. Uh, but I didn't really know how to use it, it was my first time uh, making cosplay armor. So I just painted a couple of layers of gesso and then I started with painting the colors. And I used acrylic paint for the colors. And for the highlights and shadows, I actually used white and black markers. So I made the lines to, um, to add the details. And the gems were made uh, with molds from silicone that I also made myself. <laughs> and then uh, casted them with resin and there's actually lights in them. So this costume uh, was lit. <laughs> but uh, something that I did for the details was I made um, all these stripey details and they're all uh, kind of flat because I used uh, a double layer of warbler and cut stripes from it and then I add them onto the breastplate for the details but it really 
stays a little bit flat because those are the only details that I used. Um, but you can actually read about how I make details like this in my book. Yes, <laughs> I will link it below. You can get it like this. As a hard copy, there's only a few of it left. And also as an ebook. So I will link it down below. So the next press plate is this one. That's the second press plate that I ever made with Orbla. And um, it's also made with the regular Warbla, so the brown Warbla. You can still see the color on the inside. So this is the color of the material. And it's actually based on an existing character from a game, a Lineage 2. And it's the Moirai armor for the elf. I don't really know if I pronounce it right, because of course I always saw it written, so I have no idea how to pronounce it. But um, that's why I wanted to really make it look like the in-game uh, armor. So it's not uh, an original design like Cadence, but it's really based on a reference. I made this one in 2015 and I wanted to compete with it in the, um, the Dutch preliminaries for the International Cosplay Contest at uh, AnimeCon and I actually did. So. Um, that was really interesting and really scary. But also, of course, really cool. And for this one, I used some other techniques to make details because, of course, you keep learning. Um, like for these raised details, I actually first cut those pieces out of um, craft foam and then sandwiched it in Warbla and then put it onto the breastplate. The same goes for these details. They are also cut out of foam and then sandwich with Warbla and put on there these as well. Actually, most of the details here are uh, made like this. And that makes it really three-dimensional. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, the, the painting was actually also, again, primed with gesso. Um, a couple of layers of gesso. Uh, and I didn't sand it. I didn't know then that uh, you could get a smoother result if you s would sand the gesso. So I didn't do that, so it's a little bit, um, yeah, you can hear it, uh, a little bit rough, but um, it still looks really, really cool. And then I painted everything with acrylic paint, and as you can see, I, again, I made the white and black uh, shadows and highlights to make it look a little bit cartoony and a little bit um, more detailed. And the straps, how this is fixed is actually the band that goes around the torso is made with fake leather, that's this one, and then there are these crossing pieces of elastic that go over the shoulders and they have some clips to hang the, um, the pauldrons on and it all again works with velcro, so you can take it all apart. And in the back, actually this is a little pocket. And I made this pocket to um, put the wires in for the lightning, lightning, <laughs> lighting, <laughs> so I could all connect it. This is actually one of the wires. Um, I don't know if it still works because it's been a while and of course we got better in soldering as well. So maybe it still works, maybe it doesn't. This breastplate is already not all around the body, so it's smaller to pack and to store. So that's something that I already learned from the first one, that I should try to do it differently in the next one. So with this one, I made the change. So that's my Lineage 2 Moirai breastplate. And the next one is my Princess Celestia breastplate. This is also based on a My Little Pony and Princess Celestia. So if you were wondering, yes, I like My Little Pony. <laughs> Actually, I already liked it when I was a little kid and I'm happy that they still make the dolls and the show, so I'm a happy pretzel. I made this breastplate like ending 2015, beginning 2016. Actually, right after the new Black War Black came out. I was so super excited about it because I heard that the new Black Warbla would be more smooth and more um, ideal for making little details and sculpting and because I'm 
lover for details, I was super, super excited. So of course I had to put this new material to the test and go all out with details. So that's what I did with this one. So I say black warbler, right? So on the inside you can see that it's black. So this warbler is actually, um, yeah, it has a, a finer grain in it of ochrit, how, how you call it, I'm not, not really sure. So that makes it a lot smoother and also easier to sculpt with and don't get like the, 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 the gritty um, result. And if you look at the details, I really wanted to try and incorporate some of the stories uh, from My Little Pony that revolve around uh, Princess Celestia. So here you have her sister, like <laughs> the bad version, um, Nightmare Moon. And then when she became good, uh, Luna. And of course her loyal student, Twilight Sparkle, here studying books and learning about friendship. And there um, is uh, Princess Twilight Sparkle with the wings and also the letters that she sends to Celestia. So I thought it was really fitting. Uh, in the middle, of course, the moon, that's her cutie mark. It actually lights up and has a switch, but I need to change the battery. <laughs> and then here, there is um, her other sister, the Princess Cadence, marrying um, her perfect <laughs> shining armor. And then there is the evil chrysalis that ruined the wedding of them. So those are the stories here. And I really like that I could incorporate all those details from the show and it really gives some more interest to this armor. And this was actually also the first time that I started actually sculpting on uh, breastplates because these ponies are actually sculpted just with uh, scraps of Warbla because Warbla, um, if you have the, the scraps, you can just heat them up again and then sculpt it like clay. And it will also stick to the warbler, so that's a really nice way to make some details on armor. So these are fully made like this. And all the other ponies as well. So if you actually want to see how I did that, I have a whole uh, time-lapse video about that. I will link it uh, down below so you can uh, check it out. It, um, it's a really fast video because it shows the whole process, the whole process in 10 minutes. Yeah, and it did take a lot longer than 10 minutes, I can tell you that. <laughs> and for this these raised details on the cups, I actually uh, used the sandwiching technique again. So I cut these pieces out of foam and then sandwiched it in warbler and attached it to the press plate. And actually for this one, I discovered a new way of priming armor. Uh, before this I used gesso and I never got this really super smooth finish. And I always wondered why the other cosplayers had these really smooth armors. I'm like, what? What am I doing wrong? Uh, so then I found out about wood glue or PVA primer. I actually use a PVA primer and I really like it because if you paint it with that, it gets so smooth. I used like three or so layers of the primer and the surface is just amazingly smooth. And for the attachments with this one, I use something else. Well, I use elastics because elastics are just really easy, so it always fits. But this time I used snap buckles to actually connect the straps. And that's really easy because that makes it possible for me to put it on and take it off myself, so I don't need help. And on the back it just goes like over the torso also with a snap buckle. Yeah. Yes, you get the idea. It snaps. <laughs> Um, th just the only thing that I wish I did different with this one is the colors of the straps. Because the straps are black and the shirt that I wear underneath is purple. So you really see the straps. So I should have made these purple and I probably should have made the back strap in yellow or gold because the corset is also light gold. So that would be better. Well, we keep learning, right? <laughs> so get on to the next one. So the next one is my Lady Loki armor. Piece. It's a scaly bra style piece and I think it's really cool and it's actually I think the lightest breastplate that I made because it's rather small. I made this one in 2016 
and I just was so inspired by Loki and I wanted to have my own Lady Loki, so I made it. <laughs> I made it with black warbler, as you can see. It's black on the inside. So it again, it's really smooth. I like this. Um, for this one, I actually use a little bit a different technique to make uh, these details. So, of course, <laughs> it's really cool. With every press plate, I just see that I learned something new. And with this one, I made the cup just in one layer of warbler, because normally I would use two layers to make it strong. And then I put some foam scales on top and put some warbler over it again. But I'm not going to talk a lot about that. You can actually see that in detail in another video that I will post in the description. So if you're done watching this video, then uh, definitely check that out if you like to see that. So that's um, that's how I made these uh, the scale details. And what I did for the first time with this one is actually add some fur on the inside. So the fake it's fake fur, so no worries. Uh, it's just glued on with hot glue on the inside of the press plate to create this really nice edge on the cups. And that actually what I think it does is um, if you wear a breast plate, it's a hard material and a body is not hard, so you move a little bit. Um, so when you move around in a breastplate, sometimes you can feel like you're showing more than you want to show. So to fix that a little bit, if you add the fur, it actually touches uh, your skin, so that makes it more comfortable and yeah, so you don't have to worry so much. So I really like that about it and also it just looks really super cute and with this breastplate for the painting again i used the pva primer a few layers um, that made it super smooth like you can hear there's not like a grit on it and for the painting uh, again i used acrylic paint and for the shading i used some black oil paint so this actually has more dark shading so different than my earlier breastplates that had really cartoony shading so yeah, that's a little bit different, but I really like it, and I think it also fits this uh, costume a lot. And to make it like shiny like this, I sprayed with some um, glossy uh, varnish after painting it all. For this one, for the straps, again, I used the elastic band with the snap buckle. Ha! Snaps! <laughs> and it actually attaches on the back just like a, like a bra would. So the band around the body and then the bands over the shoulders and this is actually really comfortable as you can see it's also not all around the body so it's also really easy to store and to travel with so that was Loki yeah. my pitchers so this costume I made in 2016 and again I used the regular warbler for the base and black warbler for the details. With this one um, I based it on an original design that I designed <laughs> based on the Pokemon Pidgeot. And on this press plate you see the detail of Pidgeot in the middle that I made uh, by sandwiching some warbler. Uh, over foam and then also sculpting some additional uh, details to it and these are just like the lines of Warbla just added onto the cups and what I did uh, like a new thing for this one is I also added some studs they are actually like the hotfix crystals also these and I just glued them on and then uh, painted them afterwards so that looks really really cool this is also fully painted uh, with the gilding wax. So that's why it's so super shiny and it really looks like metal, but it does rub off a little bit. That's like the downside from the gilding wax um, compared to uh, acrylic paint. If you look closely, you can see that some parts um, turn a little bit black again, because of course black was the base paint that I used on it. So that's because this uh, paint rubs off a little bit, even if you spray it with protective varnish. But still, it is so nice, it looks so nice, so I think it's totally worth it to have a little downside. And for this one I also added the super cute fur on the inside, which I glued on with hot glue. And the straps are again like a bra, and this time I 
sew the straps out of fake leather so they look like real belts and I added the snap buckle on the back that opens like this so that's my pigeon it's actually a costume that I have worn lots of times so I have a lot of cool memories to it so I really cherish this one and I just like Pokemon I'm just a Pokemon fan and the next breastplate is with a different kind of warbler <laughs> and it's uh, like a high elf um, this breastplate is actually uh, made with warblast meshed art so as you can see it's a slightly different color it's a little bit lighter than the regular warbler but it has a mesh on the back you can also hear it so this is the back of the material and the front of the material is rather um, smooth that's this um, so the mesh actually makes it really strong but it also makes it a little bit more difficult to stretch it around uh, around around form so for the cups that was a little bit more difficult so in the edges you can see that it's not fully round because that was just not possible with this kind of warbler because again this I made this right after this new warbler type came out so of course I had to try it and make a breastplate with it because I love making breastplates so much as you could probably tell by now. And I didn't wear it a lot actually because of course I make so many costumes that I can't wear them all. Um, but I really really like it so it's a little bit of a shame I think. And it's also the only breastplate that I ever made that is silver. All the others are um, gold or something gold with another color. For this one um, I mushed up some scraps of Orbla to make the raised details and because it has the mesh inside it was a little bit more difficult to get it really smooth so that's why they are not uh, fully smooth but I still really like uh, how it turned out and here with the shapes I tried to do something that looks like the windows and the, the pillars I don't really know how to call it in English uh, of the gothic churches and also of course that looks a little bit like um, the shapes in Rivendell and Lord of the Rings uh, because it has to be an elf so I thought it was super fitting and the gems they were made with my own molds that I made where I actually have a video about how to make your own silicone molds for gems and also how to cast them which I will link <laughs> of course in the description below um, and then I actually painted the back with some um, nail polish with sparkles because it, oh, it sparkles it sparkles so nicely <laughs> Uh, oh, actually, what I still wanted to say is all these materials, all these Warbler uh, types and uh, also the paint, if I can find it, I can link in the description so you can also try these materials yourself. Alright, <laughs> so for the painting of this one, I again used the PVA primer because it's my, it's my favorite <laughs> uh, to make it uh, super smooth. And then I painted it all with acrylic paint and some highlights and details with some white and black. And the straps, again, function as a bra with a snap on the back and some straps on the shoulders. It's a super comfy uh, breastplate. This one is also not really heavy, so it's, it's really comfy. I like it. The next one is this one. My Demon Hunter breastplate. I made this one in 2017, I think. So yeah, I made this in 2017 for a Demon Hunter cosplay. And it was uh, made with the regular Warbler, so the brown Warbler. And the details are made with black Warbler. So uh, the brown Warbler, it's really strong and you can stretch it really well. And that's why I wanted to use it for the base. And because the black Warbler is really smooth, I wanted to use it for the details. And these um, swirly lines of details are all made with Warbler scraps. So I took some scraps, heated them up and then sculpted them into these 3D lines. And I really think it looks uh, pretty cool. But it does make it a little bit heavy because of course it's solid Warbler. So it makes sense that it's uh, kind of heavy. And the gem in the middle is made from uh, a mold that I made with silicone <laughs> and I also have of course a video about that that I will link there will be so much links <laughs> in the video description <laughs> I'm sorry and this one actually um, 
goes a little bit more around the body. So it's again a little bit more difficult to store and to travel with. And it's also kind of kind of heavy because there is uh, a lot of material on it. This one I primed it again with PVA primer, of course, um, a couple of layers so it would be very, very, very smooth. And then I painted the black with acrylic paints and the gold is actually painted with gilding wax. Gilding wax from PBU, it's really nice. It's not uh, acrylic paint, it's, it's, it's really a wax. It's a little bit like shoe shine actually. And you can just rub it on with um, an old sock or um, with a brush, it doesn't really matter. And you only need one layer to get a good coverage. That's just um, pretty, pretty cool. Um, so that I really like it. And to get it super shiny, I sprayed it with a protective finish. For the straps, I did something different this time. I made the straps out of fake leather. So I first sewed them out of fake leather. On the back, it closes again like a bra with a snap buckle. And it crosses here before uh, it goes over the shoulders. And here it again closes with some snap buckles. And here it's being kept together by a little piece of detail. I should hold it. A little bit difficult to hold it in my hands, but I, we can do it. So this holds it together. And I attached these pieces of the bands in a different way than normal. You can't really see it anymore because it's covered with fur. Because again, I, I used some fur on this. But I actually uh, used my sewing machine to sew a little bit of warbler to the fake leather. And then I heated it up, the warbler, and stuck it into the breastplate. So that way I could make a really white band and it wouldn't show any D-rings. Because on the back it has D-rings for the attachments and I didn't want to use that on the front. So yeah, that was a little bit different, and that's something I definitely learned. I really like it. And then we have my Lethian breastplate. This is the last breastplate that I make, but it will not be my last. I will definitely make more because it's just so much fun. I love it. So I made this one last year in 2018, and it's also based on an original design that I drew inspired by the Pokemon. This one is again made with a new kind of Warbler. So that's the white Warbler, Warbler's pearly art. As you can see, it's, it's white on the inside. Well, it looks a little bit sprinkled because I spray painted it black, but it's, it's basically a, a white uh, Warbler. The nice thing about white Warbler that it's again uh, very smooth like the black Warbler, but it's also um, very strong like the regular Warbler. So it's more like a mix of the good things of the different Warbler types combined together. Which of course I had to put to the test immediately after this material came out and then I made this one. Because I love details so much I went crazy on the details again. And I used a couple of different techniques to make details on this one. Uh, to make actually here the cute little Eevee and the cute Leafian and of course a lot of leaves because that totally makes sense. And I also did like um, three-dimensional wood texture that I also made on the Warbler that I think looks really nice and is really fitting for this uh, wood elf themed Lithian cosplay. I actually filmed the whole process of making this breastplate and I'm still editing that into a video for you guys so are you excited to see that one? <laughs> Please let me know because if no one is excited maybe I should just put it on the shelf. But if you like it, I'm going to finish the video so you can see the whole process of making this breastplate. That was a long process. <laughs> and for the um, painting, again, of course, I uh, primed it with PVA primer uh, several layers until it was smooth enough to my liking. And then I painted it with the gilding wax and some really nice green metallic paint that I actually found on Amazon. I will link it down below because you might like it too and they have it in uh, more colors as well. So it's really a green um, shiny metallic color that looks really really nice and doesn't need a lot of layers. But you can still layer it to make it pop more. For this one I also added some fur on the inside but I found some really really cute uh, green fur from uh, a friend who makes ears and tails for a living. And she had this uh, left 
So I added it to my breastplate and I think it looks so cute. The straps, again, are made with fake leather. So I sewed them first and then I attached them to the breastplate and on the back it has a snap buckle. On the shoulders it actually has some velcro that will attach the pauldrons. And the pauldrons are made with foam so they are really lightweight. So really velcro is everything you need for that. Um, this is my latest breastplate. So I don't have another one to talk about, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought it was really, really cool to talk about all the breastplates that I made and to tell you a little bit about what I learned with every breastplate and if I wanted to do things differently. Um, yeah, you definitely keep learning and that's really the beauty of it, I think. So if you want to get into this hobby and also make a breastplate with Warbler, or other armor pieces or props or whatever, I definitely suggest to just keep trying because um, it will be fun to make it and you will get better with every project. That's at least what happened to me and I learned so many things and techniques and ways to make details um, throughout the years. Um, it's just super, super interesting and super nice and I really like that process. And of course, because I learned all those techniques, I also want to share them with you. So I do have a book about Warbla where I write a lot about making uh, cool details like you see in my armor pieces. And you can actually get this as a printed version, but there's only a few left. And as an ebook, almost all the armors that I talked about also have their own ebook on my website that you can download. So for example, um, Pidgeot has his own ebook where I describe the full making of the whole costume and also the armor pieces with a lot of uh, pictures that show the full process so you can take those tips and tricks and make your own costumes from it and learn from my mistakes and don't make them <laughs> yourself which is uh, pretty pretty awesome uh, I will link uh, of course I'll link there will be a ton of links in the description so I hope you can still find the links <laughs> that you want to use and of course I'm really happy that you wanted to watch this video and that you wanted to be on this journey with me like the journey of breastplates those were eight breastplates that I made uh, that I'm all proud of because they all have different stories and different um, memories to them and if you want to watch more Warbler videos then I have a whole playlist for you that you can watch so you won't be bored for the coming time I think and if you uh, like my videos then of course I um, Hope that you want to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another video and you can even if you want to do even more you can support me on patreon where i write an ebook every month and also make patterns for armor and things that i make every month for my patrons so that also really really helps so thank you so much for watching and i hope you liked it and i will see you in the next video bye bye